standard costing. We're finally getting to the part of the course that you'll enjoy because we get to criticize others. In other words, we're going to evaluate performance. In this chapter, we're looking at standard costing, which is the structure that we use for cost centers. And you'll recall that a cost center is one where there is a traceable um, link between the costs that are incurred and the products or services that are produced. And so standard costing allows us at the beginning of the year to set standards or predetermined how much should it cost for materials, for labor, for variable overhead and fixed overhead from our budgets. And once we have these standards, then we can evaluate actual performance against these standards. And we do that at the end of the year by preparing a flexible budget. And you'll remember a flexible budget is based on the actual output at the standard quantity at the standard cost. In other words, these standards. So flexible budget we prepare at the end of the year. Standard cost we determine at the beginning of the year. And then we compare actual performance against this flexible budget. Then we split in this chapter this variance between the actual cost and the flexible budget into two variances for materials, two variances for labor, two variances for variable overhead, and two variances for fixed overhead. These variances have to do with the variance in the price or the, the cost or the rate and the quantity that you use. And the quantity variance is sometimes also known as the efficiency variance. So we're going to find the price, rate, or spending variance and the efficiency or quantity variances for each of these. And remember, it's the difference, those two variances, net to flexible versus actual. So that's what we're about. Now let me tell you uh, briefly about standard costing. It's used by 95% of all businesses. This is how they keep control of their cost centers. But there is a new movement afoot called lean accounting, um, formerly called lean manufacturing, where we basically throw standard costing out. And we throw standard costing out because um, we believe that we should only track inputs and outputs and we really don't need to track costs as they move through the production process or through the, the creativity process because that process time is so short and uh, we get better results. In other words, they believe that we're spending a whole lot of time measuring and evaluating things that we could measure and evaluate a lot more agilely down on the shop floor instead up in, up in accounting heaven by computing standard costing and its variances. So let's learn all about standard costing and then you can draw your own conclusion.